Yeah. Sometimes in life, you have no choice but to get it how you get it. There was an article that came out about the No Fear Gang and what was the police officer name? And Andrew. Michael Kelly. Yeah. Now, my question about the No Fear, because when Fritz was getting money at the time, when y'all always get money in the block, there wasn't really there wasn't really a No Fear Gang. I was told that that really kind of uh, started forming after he passed. Okay, so how did, once Fritz passed, how did y'all become No Fear? Like, who decided on becoming No Fear? Why did y'all start labeling yourself at the time? Because it seems like from the newspaper article I read, once y'all started labeling yourself, that almost seemed to have been a downfall. If I'm wrong, let me know. Okay, well, so to speak, um, when they say gang, first of all, there wasn't no gang. We was a regular block, like any other block, with a bunch of young brothers on there, sticking close together, selling drugs. Uh, the No Fear came when Fritz had passed. When Fritz passed, Henry started becoming loose. Where he was doing things that he would he would have never done probably while Fritz was alive. Uh, I guess he felt in his heart that maybe dudes would want to try us. You know, being Fritz was gone or their power was gone. So we went up after the funeral and we bought these we was wearing these rhinestone clothes. That's when the rhinestone era was out. So we was buying these rhinestone hats with Hunt's Horse Street. So Henry decided to put no fear on the hats. No, it just sounded good. No fear, Hunt's Horse Street. Which everyone know we didn't have no fear. If you knew Hunt's Horse Street, you knew we didn't have no fear. So it matched. You know, it wasn't like, we're going to build this no fear gang. This was what we started wearing. You understand? We made t-shirts. No fear. Fritz name on top. Rest in peace. Ba ba ba. With names on them. The police used that. Michael Kelly used that to build a case like we were a gang. They built a case on us like it was a fed case. Like a, a like a racketeering. Man, we ain't had no racketeering. We ain't have no organizations and you know prostitutes and and, 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 and loan sharking and none of that. That 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 case that they had is for them guineas. We was a bunch of dudes just on the block selling some coke. You kidding me? That 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 indictment was uncalled for. One guy got killed on our block. His name was Vinny. His mother was a court officer. He came on our block. I was upstairs. He came on the block. Fuck no fear. Fuck no fear. Boom, 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 boom. If I knew, if I was out there, I would have dragged his ass home. And it was a dangerous error because we was being poisoned by that St. Eyes beer that she was tearing people up. It was like liquid crack, almost like Cisco. So it was taking people's minds to another place. Because had he been sober, he would have never done that shit. However, he was laid out. Someone shot him. He so the, his mother was a court stenographer or something like that in the court buildings and she went to the district attorney Robert Marlenthal or whatever and said that she wanted justice for her son and they used that with the other thing Henry throwing the refrigerator off the roof it almost hit this beat walker cop Kelly you know and but you think that was the what, downfall of everything yeah yeah cause the you know the no fear was just that you know, like, you can never compare it to La Costa La Nostra <laughs> and all this stuff like that. No, it was no fear on 12th Street. We start, and most of those parties, people need to notice, most of those parties were thrown in memory of Fritz. We had Slick and the Family from up the block. We had Unique from uptown, Mecca Audio. He had opened up Club 2000. And most of those parties was in memory of Fritz and Henry. Because Henry died not too long after Fritz. So that's what all that stuff was about. You know, letting them know that we were still together. No fear. You know, slicking the family. We didn't mess with Lou and them guys. You know, but Mecca Audio, the guy, unique. You know, he has about a thousand years in the feds too. So it wasn't a gang. I need to 
I need to express that so much because we were not a gang. A gang is a gang, like the Bloods gang. We wasn't no gang. We wasn't even an organization. We didn't have no top guys that we was on the payroll. You know, I mean, you know what I'm talking about, like a gang. No, we were a block. We were a neighborhood. Like if somebody was in patrol, there was a lieutenant and the boss. It was none of that. Right. No, it was. You know, when it came right, when it came time to it, you know, those that's that. See, we took that from the Guineas. The lieutenant, you know, the boss. No, when Fritz had the control, and he had people in certain positions, it was just that. It was like, yo. You know, uh, 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 yo, Rambo, Rambo got, Rambo got three bricks. He taking them over there. Yo, Kev got two bricks, five bricks. He taking them over there. Yo, Sasquatch got such and such bricks. He taking them over there. And that was that. It wasn't no like I'm a lieutenant. And no, that you know when people seen certain people, they gave them them titles. We ain't sit down at no damn round table talking about all right with the cigar. Okay, why well, you yeah, ain't lieutenant? Okay, yeah, I'm a gunman. You know what I'm saying? Like a real organization. Nah, nah. You know, we were a block. We had ammunition. We had guns. And, you know, we needed those guns to protect the interests, you know, of ourselves. And he's talking about the organization. No, it wasn't no damn organization. The proceeds and all this and that, all this control. The thing was that you knew that from a hundred... And that was in, in, in the area. From 112th Street... To 116th Street, of course you couldn't, you know, build no major operation there because it was a control area. We never went from block to block telling nobody. That's what they said. We had lucrative control over Central Harlem. We didn't run up on nobody. Yo, you can't, you can't sell no cracks here. Wow, 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 wow. Are you kidding me? Those dudes that was from 13th Street had its own block. 11th Street had its own block. Preston and them up there. 14th Street had its own block. Them dudes up there. Uh, sick everybody, but everybody respected each other. They got a dollar, and of course, all the coke was coming from rich. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, but he never told nobody you can't sell no drugs if you don't get them from me. That would have been ludicrous. They knew people came with the drugs. That people came with the real drugs was that. And mind you, Fritz was such a great help because you couldn't that coke. You couldn't buy that coke. You couldn't even get that. You couldn't get your hands on that. So Fritz was giving you. Uh, uh, a blessing to give you 50 keys on consignment and the cocaine was 99.9% .9 pure to where you could you couldn't if you if you fucked up that money you just wanted to fuck it up cause you couldn't you 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 know listen I need to say this right you know I don't care it's over with you know I did my time for that We, I was selling I'm talking about me I ain't gonna talk about nobody Fritz gave me 8 keys of coke yeah I was working construction. Uh, Fritz loved me so much that he wouldn't even let me talk about before that. Fritz loved me so much he didn't even want me to sell drugs when I came home. He got me working construction with a guy named Howard Archer. He was building construction up there. I worked for a year. And one day, and Howie was so hurt. His name is Howie. When Fritz told me you ain't working, they go up there and tell Howie you finish. Howie looked like he had tears in his eyes. He was ready to cry. He said, no, why Fritz gonna take you? Oh my God. He said, you serious? He said, I need to talk to Rich. I need because I was such a good worker and I was so strong and, you know, I was, and I was learning the construction trade and it kind of hurt him. However, you know, when he gave me the work like that, that was, you know, a blessing, you know, in itself. If you need it there, just tell me where. I'm big time every day. I got a big sale on a big scale. With the dough, I'll never play. I'm talking big weight in the big state.